with the MP38 being made of milled steel and the MP40 being made of stamped sheet metal to increase production speed. The MP40 also had a threaded barrel, allowing for the attachment of suppressors and other barrel attachments. On the 30th of January 1933, Adolf Hitler was appointed the Chancellor of Germany by President Paul von Hindenburg. A month later, the Reichstag, the German parliamentary building, was set on fire. Hitler and his Nazi party accused a group of communists of starting the fire, allowing him to pass the Reichstag Fire Decree, which abolished the rights of the people, including the right to assembly. Across the next few months, Hitler continued to consolidate power, violating the German constitution and the rights of the people. All this was done by Hitler to try and create a dictatorship which would benefit the Aryan German people. As a part of this, Hitler also wished to war with the world, beginning with conquering all of Europe. This would require the German army, or Wehrmacht, to be large and well equipped. The German government was developing tactics known as Blitzkrieg, or lightning warfare, which would require incredibly fast-moving soldiers, leading to the development of tanks and armoured personnel carriers. In the 30s, Heinrich Vollmer designed a variety of firearms, primarily submachine guns, which he then sold to the German police and foreign militaries. He then sold the patents of one of his designs to Irma Werke. This design was then entered into a contest held by the German government for a new submachine gun known as the Irma EMP-36. The design was perfect for Blitzkrieg infantry due to, due to its compact size, its folding stock, and a barrel protector on the end of the barrel that would allow the gun to be placed on the edge of an APC. The design was tweaked before being accepted by the German government as the MP-38 or Machine and Pistol 38, translating literally to Machine Pistol 38. In two years, only 15,000 were produced, only enough to fully equip one infantry f platoon. That year the design was again tweaked, replacing the milled steel receiver with one made of stamped metal, greatly increasing production speeds and decreasing costs. This new model was then adopted as the MP40. The MP40 was used to great effect throughout the war, with over 1 million being produced by the time of the collapse of the Nazi government. In the early years of the war, the MP38 and MP40 were relegated only to vehicle crews such as tank crews. Later on, as production increased and war tactics developed, the MP40 began being given to infantry, primarily infantry leaders such as squad and platoon commanders, as they were expected to lead the charge, and thus a submachine gun would be far more suited for them than the bolt-action Car 98K of the rest of the infantry. The MP40 was also used by partisan soldiers, men and women who took up their arms, primarily stolen from German soldiers, to fight against the Germans and liberate their country. This is clear from the many pictures of partisan soldiers in places such as France and Italy, armed with the MP40s. After the war, many MP40s were trafficked around the world to be used by guerrilla fighters such as the Viet Cong in Vietnam. The MP38 and MP40 were two legendary and iconic submachine guns of the Second World War. The designs were used throughout World War II and influenced designs made by the Allies and the Soviet Union after the war, influencing the American M3 Grease gun and 